Hey guys, welcome to the Wrestling Escape Pods and welcome to this very special episode. And of course it is a special episode because it's a Wednesday. I don't know, but either way, uh, I can't do this special Wednesday episode all by myself. I am joined by the Boston boy himself, Tommy Toy Travels. Tommy, how are you? Well, thank you for asking such a question to kick off the episode. What a deep question. We had a rolling weekend with the Royal Rumble. Then I went to a Beyond show on Sunday and then Raw last night. So I've been wrestled out. Just kidding. I am all ready and prepared for AEW tonight. I'm looking forward to that. But I think the thing that everyone wants us to talk about is not AEW, is not Timothy Thatcher. Oh. is not what happened on NXT last night. It is the Sami Zayn situation. And why did they put the duct tape of the Zayn? And does that mean, because it's duct tape, does that mean it's relating to Kevin Owens? Ha- ha- hang on. The duct tape where? The duct tape what? what? You haven't seen the new shirt? No. There's a new Sammy shirt. Yep. Oh. It's the Sammy Uso, but they put duct tape over the Uso and Rosane. Oh, I have not seen this shirt. I would imagine it's probably doing the Raz. Is it dropped today or was it like yesterday yes. or it dropped today? Oh, no, I haven't seen this. Oh, that's nice. Yes. That's nice. Well, it, it didn't drop today. It dropped two days ago. Okay. No, I haven't seen that. That's very interesting. Yeah. So duct tape obviously does make me think. Because today is obviously Wednesday. Mm, yeah. Uh, in fact, can we just go back to that? Because you did just say that people won't want us to focus on what happened last night with NXT. Uh, mm. if, you, if you could just give us a quick rundown, though, as to what did go down. Oh, yeah. One second. One second. I got mm. four packages to unbox. But oh, okay. I, I know you want to talk about NXT, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did, did the NXT thing first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so... Did, only only so last nights. Only last nights. Can we, can we just, like, take a moment to mm. hype up scripts? Sure. Uh, as we know, this is the go home for what is it, Vengeance Day? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and we saw Braun Breaker come uh-huh. out, open uh-huh. the show. Uh-huh. All right. Uh huh. We finally saw the the gender moment that oh. we've been waiting for. Mm. Uh, Roxanne Perez mm-hmm. came out. She mm. uh, addressed the toxic situation with the attraction, mm-hmm. and it's it's. It's really interesting because she was thrown out of the Rumble so fast, but yeah. they kind of like glossed over that. Uh-huh. And then the triple threat match, as we all know, stole the show. It yeah. was awesome. Yeah. And it was nice to uh, a little shout out to that who, woman that who, hurt uh, her knee or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just, um, who picked up the win in that triple threat? What? The triple threat. You know the triple threat. The one that stole the yeah, show. Awesome, yeah, yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. Who, uh, who picked up the win in that one? Who picked up the win? Mm, mm. It was uh, on on last night's NXT. On last night's yeah, NXT. Yeah, 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 yeah. It yeah, was yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, last night. Uh, oh, it was obviously uh, mm, Chase mm. U. Obviously. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. That's an in- that's an interesting answer. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yep. Did and, you watch? Uh, no, I can't stand it. Oh, you missed it. No, I missed okay, it. Okay, so the first package. First okay. package. Mm-hmm. The mm-hmm. only wrestling relating pass package, but we'll we'll talk about Sammy. But this is the first package. If you've got uh, one of them, rela- if you've got one of them shirts already, that would be sick. <laughs> well, yeah, because it came out a couple <laughs> days ago. What the heck? Okay, you ever like order something? It takes thirty years to arrive, and you're just like, "Why did I buy that?" Mm. Okay, I mean, if you ordered it back in the night, is that is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. Okay, getting... so I got that. Is this more stash pages stuff? Mm-hmm. More stash pages. Oh, I, I just unplugged everything. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, stash, stash. Okay. So. Okay. Mm-hmm. Stash pages. No, that was someone else. Uh, Two okay. sweet merch or something. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So this is uh, the final DVD. The last one ever. The that last ever. Definite. Uh, definitely. The last ever until the, the last ever. Yeah. Oh, right. right, right. Uh, the dentist collection. Yeah. Get a new dentist. That looks pretty. Dentists. Uh, 
one and two. I have never even heard of these films. Are they famous? Absolutely. I don't know why I bought them. Okay. Um, so they're like trash horror, aren't they? People have been stealing my packages. I'm really glad that I didn't re-sign up. Have they? Oh, Austin's been stealing my packages. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, it's, it's you know sure. your flatmates, the one that lives in the duplex? I don't know them anymore, no. You don't know them anymore? No. Okay. Um, do they like the same sort of films that you're into? Absolutely not. So you have to watch these in the privacy of your own room? Behind closed doors. What would you sit down and watch communally? 17 Dresses. The hell's that? Is that a rom-com? 28, 28 Dresses. I'm sorry, but it's got How on. many dresses did she own? <laughs> Hold on. What are you on about? Is this a film? Speaking of Love Doug wrestled LMK this weekend. Wow. What? Huge match. Hang on, weren't they getting married like a week ago? That's why, because Love Doug came out and he was like, I got stood up on my date, Alley Catch. Right. And it was like, oh, such a sad moment. But then LMK's music hit. She's pointing to her ring saying, Honey, you got stood up by another woman. What about me? But didn't she call it off? You know, days. Oh, we don't. We don't. It, the story doesn't the matter. The thing is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's a fickle beast. Well, she is a prize. <laughs> don't we know? <laughs> she's a prize to be caught. And some days she's with him. Some days she's not. Okay. Okay. Well, sounds pretty wild down at uh, Beyond. So at the party I yeah. was at uh, for the Royal Rumble, when Hardy came on the screen, oh, did everyone you cheer? Left. Every, everyone cheered. No, everyone left. Did you all go and get Hardy to get Hardy tattoos? Is that why they left? No, we were done. We went home. And put it on their is, uh... put it on their hearts. Was it good? The Hardy performance. Yeah. I would say it's probably the greatest moment in the history of wrestling. So you, you shut it off after that? Uh, yeah, yeah, because you can't follow You that. miss Sammy? Yeah, I wouldn't even want to see Sammy. Because yeah. after the Hardy performance, which mm -hmm. Fightful are actually reporting that quite a few people backstage scoffed at. Apparently there was scoffing at that Hardy the scoff performance. Meme. Uh, <laughs> it's a scoff. Do they have COVID? I hope not. Otherwise, you know, pretty dangerous. A scoff, short for sick cough. <laughs> like that, it's a scoff. Apparently, there was I a lot be... of that, a lot of that going on backstage. So there's super spreader event. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but that I mean, jo uh, joking aside, and then it I got was this. it was trash, wasn't this, it? Shout out to this. This goes out to uh, what's her name, Sunny Wolf. Um, that's her name, yeah. Canada. Okay, I don't know what that is. It's it's Canada's greatest export. Oh, Celine Dion. The grassy. Yeah, is this a you know this Drake? Is, no, I know Drake. Is that Drake? Yeah, that's Drake. The rapper. Right there. No. He was on the show. Yeah, that's where he got famous. I thought he got famous from his music. So I wrote I wrote them a letter eight years ago asking them for like an autograph for someone and they but Drake an Drake Drake me, Drake's uh, autograph. Yeah. And they had an intern write me back and mm. uh they were like, sorry, no one's here right now. They're not filming, so no autograph for you. Oh, that's a shame. I've never thought to so do that. So Sammy Zayn turned on the bloodline. Were you expecting that? Um it didn't quite go the way that I was expecting, but pretty much went the way I was expecting. I thought that he was going to need to be uh, beaten up in order for them to build sympathy. So we've been talking a lot on the watch longs about how is it going to go. And I said, like, I really think they need to like beat him up, beat him down, uh, leave, rip his clothes, leave him blooded so that everyone's like feeling sympathy. Uh, it kind of did go that way. I mean, there was obviously the chair shot just before. But, um, ooh. and did you see this coming? Did you see this as the one? Did you see this figure? It looks Bermina, like garbage. Bermina, 
Hold on, we're gonna get an exclusive here. We're gonna get an exclusive. No other wrestling YouTuber has compared uh, AEW to the WWE one. There you go. Wow. Yeah, that doesn't... you gotta screenshot this and talk about it for ten minutes. It doesn't. It doesn't look as good, does it? it look, his face looks moody. No. It looks angry yeah, and yeah i do like the chest hair can i just say uh first of all i didn't know that series 101 was out in america that's exciting i don't even know if we've had series 100 yet um oh. we might have I, I last time i checked smiths we were up to 99 100 was on the way uh but they okay. didn't have they didn't have images up for it yet i, I really mm. want the andre there's an Andre in 100. That was a good one. Oh, I really want that because that's based Out of on... all the ones from the set, that was my fave, I think. Yeah, well, that, that's based on when he challenges Hulk to the match, isn't it? The Piper's so, Pit, yeah. Yeah, the Piper's Pit. So I really want to get my hands on that one. So I am waiting for 100 to drop, which it might have done. But that's very exciting that you've got 101. Uh, who else is in that series, please? We got Johnny Knoxville, Sonya Deville, Kevin Owens dressed up as Steve Austin. Oh, is that uh, in it? Yeah, we that's got a Ricochet. pretty fun figure. It's a fun one because it comes with two heads, and then we have Mister America to close off the set. Oh, that's that's weird because I feel like these figures were only just shown for the first time not that long ago. Like I saw a video in Hogan's Beat Shop, I think it was. I don't know if you saw this. Mm -hmm. Uh, where they unveiled or revealed, showed off the figures. I don't remember them being shown before that. Maybe they were shown at San Diego, like, you know, computer images or something, but I can't, yeah. remember, I can't remember seeing some of these. I can't remember seeing Kevin Owens dressed as Stone Cold. Speaking of remembering, though, did you remember when I predicted that Nia Jax would make her big return in the Royal Rumble? No, but I can definitely get the video and put it in this so okay thank you you will still get the credit for that thank you and yeah, now you're welcome so um, at the party uh we played like a game okay i don't know if you do this but like everyone puts in a dollar and says a number um and if that number is the one that wins yeah uh you get the money um <laughs> this is gambling which is illegal in america so please report me um <laughs> And I put in number one <laughs> yeah. uh, because I was hoping Cody would come out at number one. Oh. Someone else put in number 30. Right. Someone that doesn't watch wrestling, doesn't know what Royal Rumble is. They yeah. just put in 30. Yeah. Thank God Rhea Ripley came out at number one. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, did you have won. Yeah. Well, did you put in for one for both or did you do it? A you, you split it. Like if, if everyone put in like two, four, seven, no one would win. Uh, and if one person did like one and everyone else did two, four, seven, the person that did one would win. And if there are two winners, you split it. I have no idea what you've just said. This is very simple. Okay. If there are two winners, you split the earnings. But who's the winner? Who's what do you mean? Two winners? There's only one winner of the Rumble, apart from that one year where there was two. Hang on. There's a women's Rumble and a men's Rumble. Okay, okay, you okay. Have two opportunities to be a winner. Okay, got you. So, But my question to you is, you picked number one. So did you have number one for both Rumbles, or yes. did you have to select a, again, like it's the women's, no, let's no, go great again? great question. Thank you. Great thank, question. No, thank you. Great thank question. you. Thank you. So you had one for both. Oh yeah, and I I, uh, so you I do want to save some time for a, a, a bullying online bullying discussion. <laughs> okay, uh, thank God you said discussion. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I do want to save some time for online bullying. Okay, yeah, yeah we can yeah. we can I we can fit really that need in. to talk about William Hensy. <laughs> okay, bully the crap out of him. But yeah, so I won. Um, and I'm well aware. done. Yes, Rhea Ripley. Yeah. Nia Jax. So is she, is she your, she your girl for life now that she's won you some dollar? Oh, yeah, dollar. yeah, yeah, yeah. Got $4 because of her because only eight people showed up, which solid group. Where was where was this at? A friend's house? The, your house? or? Let's just say it was at my girlfriend's house, who is real. Oh, wow. So you went round to, and was this the first time of you meeting her or? Yep. 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 We met on Roblox. She's yep. very real. <laughs> and was i inside the house no 
Okay. I was watching in my car. <laughs> With binoculars. Potentially. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Potentially. Yeah. Okay. Okay. One that of might... the experience of being in the building and not being able to see a damn thing. Yeah, that might explain why so few people turned up because only X amount are going to fit in the car, for example. True. Okay. True. Good point. Good point. Um, also, I, I, I do appreciate how I said only eight people showed up, but that's a lot of people for a watch party. Uh, yeah, I mean, I suppose it is. I suppose it is. I'm thinking, like, if you went to an organized, like, pub. Oh, like, yeah. Bar. Do you know what I mean? And only eight people were there. That would be sad. But You'd if you go to a friend's house and eight people are there, it's like, whoa. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Bro got friends. Yeah, yeah. So let's dial down then, shall we? Let's we do dial keep... down. Let's we... talk about Sami Zayn. Yeah. Let's talk about the bloodline. Let's yeah. talk about Uncle Howdy missing LA Knight. Let's talk about how Walmart and CVS did not have the pitch black mountain dew that i went to buy oh. uh specifically to bring to the party let's also talk about how i was cyber bullied twice once by that youtuber who said uh hold on let me direct quote them okay remember last week when we were very kind to that mountain dew youtuber they, they responded ah, and you got cyber bullied well i got cyber sassed i i definitely got sassed out do you think it was um, the dad or the kids? I don't know. I don't like to theorize, but as you recall, I said thanks for the informative video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Do you have any insight what's going to happen against Bray Wyatt and Eli Drake? Do you know who Bray Wyatt is? Yeah. Uh, I'm wondering what the neon element will be. Um, please Great respond question. Great within question. 10 minutes because we're yep. recording. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then Chris <laughs> Frezza said, we do snack and food reviews. Hmm. I don't know anything about no wwwe and then he responded a couple seconds later saying try google next time with a period oh, oh did he say wwwe yeah because i said that too by accident uh you should have responded what about wwe <laughs> Question mark. Do you know much about I'm WWE? Sorry, Dave. I don't have that wit. And also, I was just cyber <laughs> sassed. So yeah. it's hurts. It's very emotional. Yeah. That's deep. That is deep. That's a shame. That's a sh I still like them. I like them a you, bit. I like them a bit more, actually. Yeah, because they cyber sass. Yeah. I'm all for a bit uh, of cyber sass. Did you like, did you laugh when Uncle Howdy missed LA Knight? Um, I didn't. I, I must admit that whole thing just didn't do it for me anyway. So even if it, even if he had connected, still would have felt a bit like I didn't need this. I just didn't need any I just of that. Love stuff. how they kept showing the replay and all the replays you could see. He missed. Yeah, he missed. Uh, there's a different angle that's even worse that was doing the rounds on social media. Uh, yeah. Like, yeah, he misses by an absolute mole. I, I, I just, I don't know why they felt the need to do that bit. To be honest. Like mm -hmm. I just, it didn't, it didn't need it. Like you've got Uncle Howdy. They're trying to build him. I up. agree. This... You don't need Bray Wyatt segments. They do nothing to the show, and <sighs> just to cut that out, and the show would be stronger. Like no one likes Bray. Okay, here's the deal: cut out the Bray Wyatt, cut out the Alexa Bliss. It would have been a stronger show. Okay, well that's a bold statement, but saying that for our fan base, sure. What what did you think about the pitch black match? I thought it visually looked really cool, but after like two minutes, I was done with it. What do you mean by you was done with it? They weren't doing anything cool. Because if if there wasn't the gimmick of the cool colors, mm. that would be a god awful match. But it's only five minutes long. Yeah, but nothing happened. Uh... This is Royal Rumble. This is a huge show. This is a premium live event. This is not main event. Like on main main event, that would be fine. Yeah, you see, I, I, a lot of people are saying what you're saying, and I just don't see it. For real? Yeah, a lot of people That's are. Cool. A, a That's lot... cool. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't even like go on social media or anything so that I can have uh, this perspective that's not tainted. No, a lot of people have said it was not good. I mean, visually, I think people thought it was impressive, but as you just said, they didn't do anything. I've had people say it was too short. I've had people saying they didn't like the Mountain Dew logo in the ring. I've had people saying that they didn't 
Um, he, he was too impervious to pain. Like LA Knight just couldn't do anything to stop him. Um, and yeah, I've, I've heard a lot of different criticisms uh, about it. My take on it is, I thought it was all right. I mean, it was clearly not an amazing match because it was five mm. it was five minutes long. But I can't say that it offended me or upset me or it was just it was there. It was there. And my my biggest takeaway was, wow, that looked that looked cool. That looked cool. Um, and so that was my big takeaway. So actually the pitch black match, I came out of it thinking, oh, do you know what? That was all right. That was all right. I wasn't offended by the action. There was nothing. It was too short to offend me. Nothing happened that was supernatural or silly or anything along those lines. I really appreciated that. Um, Bray looked like a beast, and I think he should, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was five minutes long. So I, I kind of came out of it with that. But I I don't think I'm a, the mon- minority, but I think it's a quite a 50-50 split as to people that also kind of were like, no, nah, it was garbage. It was trash. And it was just, what was the point in that? So it's very interesting to hear your perspective on it. Can I just like give you a little perspective that potentially your taste is god awful? Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. <laughs> like, have you considered that? Uh, Sorry, I'm sass tonight. I'm, I'm, I'm Jeez, sh- I got cyberbullied <laughs> while watching the Royal Rumble on a Beatles Discord. <laughs> the band that preached peace and love, their fan base, their stands attacked me. Did they? I was trying to watch the Women's Royal Rumble. I saw someone on the Beatles Discord was like, yo, why does this footage look good, but this footage doesn't? And I was like, it's because the noise reduction. And people were like, Oh, this again, noise reduction. Who's the loser that brought up noise reduction? Let's kill the people that put noise reduction on the Beatles. And they all they all came out of the woodwork. They started like a thread, a topic thread to make fun of me for saying noise grant days. Days, Beatle fans, don't mess. With, I know I always say Sasha Banks stands, don't mess with them. Beatles Beatle stands are something else. Wow, they sound fun. They're all like peace and love, peace and love until they stab you. <laughs> until the noise the reduction. They're like gets... dumb, man. <laughs> They're all peace and love until noise reduction enters the room. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know um, they got a tear there. They're like peace and love. I, can, can I drag it back to the Royal Rumble? Well, that was Royal Rumble because I was bullied while we were watching the Royal Rumble. Sure. What's your thoughts on the men's Rumble? We will get to Sammy. But uh, I'm interested I, in your thoughts. I thought I always liked the women's more than the men for some reason. I have a lot more fun watching the women's. Um, I didn't think the men's was really that bad per se. Uh, there weren't as many old school surprises. And it's always sad when that happens when you have people in your viewing party that are the old school fans that know like those Booker T's and, and, and stuff like that. So not seeing many of those certainly dampened the mood of the party because the anticipation wasn't reality, but uh, to watch like an actual match to see cool moments, like everyone, even though they hate Logan Paul, love that spot with Ricochet. And that's like what we're all talking about because that was dope, even though we're Logan Paul, but Logan Paul is a great wrestler. Uh, Gunther looked money. Cody Rhodes winning makes sense. So I thought it was pretty good, uh, even if I enjoyed the women's more. And, and uh, you happy with Cody winning? Happy with Gunther? Yeah. yeah. Loved all that. Uh, women's then. You say you enjoyed it more. What did you yeah, enjoy I, more? Like that last few minutes was just so powerful, so good um with oscar oscar killed it oscar was if she wasn't in that royal rumble it would have been bad uh one thing i didn't enjoy though was how like women would just come in and just get right out and like i know chelsea green's the one everyone's talking about but like that was on purpose uh, though wasn't it clearly that quickly yeah but like roxy um that was yeah, she shame. came in was in for what four three minutes and she then looked now, good. she's like nxt champ yeah she looked good I, I i was a bit disappointed that they didn't allow her to come down with a belt because yeah. I know, uh, I think the women's tag champs did, 
Uh, I seem mm-hmm. to remember EO and Dakota coming down and chuck in there. They chuck their belts. I mean, why not? It's only the women's tag belts. Uh, they actually mm-hmm. came out with them on, chucked them in the entranceway, and then went running down. Uh, I'm not a big fan of that. I would much rather they wore them down to the ring, took them off at ringside, handed, handed them over, them. Hand, yeah, put them on a plinth or something like this, not just <laughs> rispid them off mm-hmm. into the crowd somewhere. But uh, mm-hmm. yeah, I thought it was a real shame that Roxanne, considering she's women's NXT champ, didn't come down with her championship. Like, it's one thing to say this is, you know, the NXT Women's Chat. It's another thing for her to have that moment. You know, there's no need for Roxanne Perez to go running to the ring. She might as well mm-hmm. come out, stand in the entranceway with her championship, just, you know, take it in. I think I think that would have been a nice moment for her to have just... She's local, yeah, take it in. Just looked around, you know, and then, like, uh, headed down to the ring with a championship. So, yeah, I, I agree. I think B-Fab as well. I think she was out within like 30 odd seconds. B-Fab, I went to the bathroom, so I missed that. Wow. You, she, you missed her whole appearance thing she was about 30 odd seconds. She was in the... Uh, I You know, when you have to pee, you have to pee. Well, absolutely. P-Fab. Although um, I did make a big fool of myself at the party. Oh. I went on my soapbox when they started. The- it's time for the Royal Rumble match. And I was like... Okay, okay, they always do this. It's sexist. They have the women first and the men second. This is bull crap. <laughs> Why do they do this? I thought Triple H would change everything. Then Gunther came out. I was like, I want to apologize, everyone. Um, I, I mean, I assumed yeah. that women would go first because they're women and I'm the problematic one on WWE. So I'm so sorry. Did you also? select the number one number or was you given it i selected it okay so not only did you do that but then you also handpicked number one going yeah they'll go with uh, number one here only for number 30 who doesn't even watch wrestling come along and uh, pick up the victory yeah disappointing what did you but Sammy, 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 Sammy Guevara, right? That's what we... everyone's talking about. We can't get there yet because there's one more okay. match, isn't there? The Hardy. The Hardy match. <laughs> yep. That was that was a battle with uh the viewers battling consciousness. That's what they were battling. I... The whole party I was telling everyone, don't worry. My bud Dave, he watches all these pay-per-views. He says WWE always ends early. It's not like AEW, so don't worry. We're going to be done with this party at 11. 11, I'm party, party whore. And I just was, I just ruined everything at this party. I made my sexist commentary to start with. I am now telling everyone that this show will end early, and it's not. Rumble's probably the exception because of the two Rumble matches that are in it. But um, it still should be clocking in under four hours. I think last year was three hours 50. This one actually went four hours, I think 12. It did overrun. Uh, It was overran by 12 minutes. They planned for this one to be four hours and it went 412. But um, let's be anchor Alexa. What do you what do you, do you think about that? Happened. Yeah, you see, for me, that was the pitch black match, but without any impressive visuals. Yeah. Yeah, it just I, it was just there. Right. It was yeah. just there, and it was a little longer as well. I think that was seven minutes compared to Bray's, which was five. Uh, and then Uncle Howdy after saying, "Do you feel in control, or do you feel in command, or do you feel in charge, or whatever?" He said. That what well, that just felt like an afterthought. I don't know, Matt. I'll I was, tell you this. Go on. Sounds like you're a hater. Sounds like you're really putting down the whole Bray Wyatt Alexa Bliss thing. And I just it seems wanna... like you're not listening to our fan base that love when we talk about Alexa Bliss or Bray Wyatt. I'm I'm not a hater. I just want more and better you want cohesion right now it's like an art film where nothing makes sense and they're like yo wait till the end it's all gonna make sense but you get to the end and it's still just like some dude painting himself with blue paint screaming in the in in the woods wearing a mask it's like bro there's no cohesion here in fairness like that would be classic 
What if 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 it, if with it Bray in the woods, painting himself blue, screaming in a mask? I mean, that would be pretty sick, wouldn't it? In all fairness, yeah, but there's still no storyline. Nah, but that would be a good visual. <laughs> <laughs> but that's like what we're dealing with right now is is art film aesthetic, not like actual cinematic spooky horror aesthetic. Hmm. Um, and that's where it's taking me away because Bray is always on on the line of that, but. Back when he was like Swamp Bray, like there were elements of art film um, <laughs> with uh, the masks in the woods and stuff like that. But there is still narrative, still cohesion that they're trying to convert people. Um, but this time around, they're trying to, uh, it's like they're trying to convert just Alexa. What are these puppets? None of it makes sense. And it's, it's they're, they're really slowing it when the storyline should be moving faster, in my opinion. Yeah, that's a good point. Really good point. Right. Roman. Sammy, what did you think? I didn't watch the match. I was sleeping. That sounds watched, like a sounds like a wild watch along. I watched the end. All right. Before watching Raw last night. Yeah. So you didn't see this live. No. Ah, how did you how did you get to the Hardy performance and then go, do you know what? I'm I'm gonna call it quits here. I mean, was she in work it's or Hardy. Yeah, no, but like, surely you would just be. Everyone was waiting for the Sammy thing, weren't they? No, no. They knew Roman Reigns would take like twenty minutes to come out, so it was like Hardy's going to be fifteen minutes, then another twenty. We're done. Yeah, I mean, you you, you can do something else for like you know forty odd minutes, but the Sammy moment was always going to yeah, happen. I could get ready for bed and then go to bed, which is what I did. Yeah, you could you could have got ready for bed. And I don't know what that process, and then watch the end live. Do you not brush your teeth? Before I go to bed? Yeah. No, actually. No. I've always been bad at that. Oh, yeah, I, I know. I've always been bad at that. Do you know, I remember being at secondary school, and we were doing a, a spreadsheet, and I was with some friends. That's a stereotype. What? Not taking care of your teeth. No, I do. I brush them every day. Just once? Yeah, but just once. Bad. What does it say? Two, three times a day you're supposed to? Mm, well, I think you're probably supposed to do it twice. Okay. But I feel like once, I mean, they're still my own. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> We're doing all right. We're doing all right. I guess so. Like, you're doing better than me. I'll, I'll give it you. Uh, but, yeah, I... Oh, God. Forget teeth. What did you think of it? Can I fake it? I thought the match was good. Uh, I, oh. I was expecting more hmm. um, from Kevin um, because he's a great wrestler. I think that's fair. Uh, Roman's really been putting on some surprise bangers, and that's not what yeah. we got. And um, yeah. at such a late time, they could have stepped up a little bit because people were really kind of falling asleep at that point. They could have really put out a banger. Yeah. Uh, but they didn't. But then. What did you think about the botch? Like they lulled us. What? What did you think about the botch? You know, it's wrestling. It's going to happen. Yeah. Um, but then it lulled us into a false sense of security, of tiredness, and that really picked up our emotions to the end and let us uh, appreciate. Nice. I mean, that does nothing for me, but it might do something for someone in the chat. I, I actually graduated in 2007. I didn't actually. That would actually be really cool, right? That would be cool. And if yeah, you graduated from Degrassi as well. Yeah, it's not a real school. So, right. So the, the match is done. So what I like about um, this whole Sammy situation, how yeah. they didn't address it on Raw. I know some people might be a little upset about that. I love it for the realism. Yeah. You know, when AEW had their situation with CM Punk, they didn't address it. They just kind of was just like... The belts are stripped. And you kind of had to be like, what's going on? What's going on? So the fact that they didn't and they're letting it build up, letting us get that tension, you know, dropping that T-shirt, getting a little bit like, Ooh, okay, okay, something's happening here, but you, we don't know yet. We got to wait till Friday. I like that. You make like an interesting point. Uh, what did you think about the fact no one came down during the segment? To save him? Security. Adam Pierce, Sonia Deville. Where where were these people? 
Why weren't they there? That's a criticism I've heard of that, that segment. Because it's Roman. And they're intimidated. Yeah. Would you go down to help him? I, to, uh, to be honest, I mean, I, I know we haven't touched on the semi segment yet, but if I was to criticize it, that might be the only thing I could find. I think I would have liked someone, even if it was Adam Pierce from a distance, like trying to calm it down and like, you know, maybe have Adam Pierce and a couple of referees coming down, but they, they, every time they get to like, try and get in the ring solos there and, and they can't. And I think I would have just liked that. I kind of felt like, that would have added a bit of tension as well, because you know how Sammy's in the ring and Roman's like, do it, do it. Well, all of a sudden, if you've got Adam Pearce and the officials on the outside and they're seemingly going to come into the ring at some point, there's more pressure being applied there. It kind of felt like they had all the time in the world. Do you know what I mean? That's maybe my only criticism, and it's a very small criticism. Mm -hmm. But what did you think? I like the segment. I thought it was good. I wasn't even thinking, like, why isn't anyone going out there to help him? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, yeah. Because I'm evil. Mm -hmm. I don't think of things like that. I'm it, not as it, smart as you. It, no, well, to be honest, it's not something that was played massively on my mind. It just crossed my mind, like, a, a couple of times. I was like, it would have, you know, where where is someone? Is someone going to come down and, like, interrupt? Or And they never did. But, I mean, the stuff that was happening in the ring was way more important and engrossing. How how would and... you how would you rate it then? Like say out of ten, what was your thought? You know, we've spoke about that segment the other day, the trial of Sammy, and uh, how much like I loved it and you appreciated it. And then we spoke about the t-shirt moment. Where does where did what happened at the Rumble kind of sit? I know Dave Meltzer says that it's one of the best moments. Um, not everyone played their part really well. Uh. I'm more of a goofball guy. I like my goofball moments in wrestling, but when it comes down to pure emotion yeah. and getting some fantastic performances, connecting back to the old shield turn, I was really good. Yeah. So it's really tough for me. Oh, Daisy, you're going to love this package. Okay. Walmart. Hey, AJ Styles goes, what are they? I got mittens. Oh, nice. Keep the old hands warm. You don't seem as excited. Uh, I'm, I'm not crazy about mittens. They're a bit Dexter Loomis for me, yeah. <laughs> uh, so what did you think of no Dexter Loomis in the Women's Rumble? Would you have liked to see him save Indy Hartwell and rekindle that? Old uh, thing, or that would have been that nice. tried. I think if you're not going to tell that story on the main roster, then it wouldn't have made any sense, would it? I think to mm -hmm. to have done that, you're giving that really to the NXT fans, but equally you're causing confusion for the main roster fans because it's going to be plenty of people that won't know about their relationship. So, no. yeah, I, I think if, you, if, if the plan was for her to then come to the main roster and for them to do something going forwards, absolutely, you could have done it. It would have been brilliant. But if there is no plan to do that, and seemingly there isn't, then no, nah, I don't think you could do it. Were people on the live stream upset that uh, they didn't address the Sammy situation last night? Uh, two nights ago, sorry. Um, um, don't think so. Uh, there wasn't really much talk about that. I think the focus for last night was more on what's going to happen with Bianca and Alexa, uh, what's going to happen with Becky and Bailey and damage control. Obviously, Code is back. That's exciting. What's he going to say? Um, Rhea Ripley's on that show. Who's she going to choose? Because we knew who Cody was going to go after, but who's Rhea going to go after? I think people sort of knew Sammy, Roman, their Friday. Um, but yeah, I mean, obviously, we've seen Sammy and the Usos on Raw, so it wouldn't have been the craziest thing in the world had we have had Sammy come out. But mm -hmm. I think they're doing something quite smart at the moment. And that is Monday is Cody, Friday is Sammy. And don't let them get in each other's way, basically, because they're both being built up. They're both really big at the moment. People love both of them. 
you've got one on one show, the other on the other, kind of keep them apart, to be honest. Mm -hmm. So, I, you know, I don't, we didn't even get much talk of Cody talking about Roman. Cody's promo was more about him and his journey and what he would tell himself. He didn't really speak about Roman, which makes me wonder if he'll be at SmackDown this week. I don't think he will. I think they're probably going to have the spotlight on Sammy and that story rather than trying to bring Cody into the equation yet. Cause there's still long time, long way to go in there. So at the moment we don't really, yeah. we don't really need to bring Sammy over to SmackDown. So I could see Cody more of a dark match on SmackDown or something. Hmm. Yes. Yes. Good shout. Good shout. Um, so you enjoyed it, but I sense you didn't love it. No, I, you know, I, it takes a lot for me to love something. You know. know, I don't bust out. I love it yeah. right away. You're going to okay. have to wait a few months. Uh, you see, I think I jump in the deep end a lot quicker than you then. I I loved, loved it. it. Yeah, I loved it. I think it's, again, one of the best things I've seen. I've rewatched. Uh, no, the Sammy moment. Oh, yeah, I love that Sammy moment. Oh, you do love that. Sorry, I thought we were talking about the whole show. But uh, the whole show, I, I I scored about like a seven two five, maybe seven point five. There was nothing. There was a lull in the middle, a little dip in the middle. But I enjoyed Gunther's performance in the men's and the mm -hmm. fact that Cody won. So I I mm -hmm. got something from the men's. Um, and I love ask that ask a moment. You you're absolutely right. It's such a great moment. So I love that. I, I love Rhea winning. Yeah, I love Rhea winning. So I feel like I got a couple of things there. I personally don't need the legends. I love the legends. I'm, I love old school wrestling, but I think as long as I get stuff out of those rumbles, um, and I felt that I did, I was very satisfied with them. Pitch Black match, I honestly came out of it thinking that was pretty good. I mm -hmm. uh, It didn't offend me because it was really short. I thought visually it looked great. The uh, Bianca Alexa match, I would say, was the low point because there just wasn't anything to hang your hat on. There was just nothing there. It just, there was just nothing there. Uh, it even felt like they weren't interacting with the fans all that much. Like, it just felt like they were going through the motions. And then, like, the Howdy thing was disappointing. But the, so going into the main event, I was probably around a 6, 7, 5, or a 7. Going into the main event, probably 6, 7, 5, if I'm being truthful. Um, but that Sammy moment, oh, my God. It's so amazing. I just shot up my score to like a 7.5 i think it's 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 for me up there with i mean like shields breaking up and all that maybe just a little below that to be truthful I'd maybe just yeah. maybe just a little I was more emotionally connected to the shield so yeah for me. yeah and, and the thing with the shield is that came out of nowhere no one expected that the next night there's always a plan b bang shield breakup didn't expect it whereas everyone everyone expected sammy to go out of the bloodline so but when i say it's up there with the shields i mean like if we're talking about great turns i think we talk about sean and marty Jannetty. i think we talk about you know the shield moment i think in the conversation i remember when sammy hit roman with the chair i think it's it's in that conversation but it's not like if you did the ranking and the S tier, A tier, all of that, it wouldn't be S tier with Shield, if that makes sense. Makes sense. What's your thoughts on uh, Jay? We'll see. we'll see. Do you think he's uh, left? I mean, he did send that out, that uh, Instagram post, didn't he? We'll see. Friday. I can't say. You know, Friday's not here yet. But what do you think? You want to hear a theory? Maybe three? A theory that's doing the rounds. It's, what is it? Uh, it's that Jay will betray Sammy at Elimination Chamber, which, because Jay, Jay will now be on the outside of the bloodline. Sammy will think he can trust him. Jay might even be in Sammy's corner to try and neutralize Jimmy on the other side. And then we end up having Jay betray Sammy. Roman beats Sammy. We then get Kevin and Sammy versus Usos at WrestleMania. Now, that hasn't come from anywhere other than fan theory, but it's one of them that you could see happening. 
you could see it happening. Do you think Sammy and Kevin go in for the tag titles at WrestleMania? Do I don't you... see it happening. You don't see, I don't that, see happen? that happening. I don't see either of those things happening. I'm okay. seeing Sammy, yeah. Kevin, uh, Sammy, and uh... all right. You, you want to hear? I want to hear. hear. I want to hear. Insane booking. Do it. WrestleMania. Do it. Night one. Book it. Uh, Sammy versus Roman. No, maybe night two. Um, but uh. uh, Jay and uh, Kevin, right? And Solo and Jimmy. Oh, oh, okay. Kevin and Jay versus Jimmy and Solo. Yeah, now you see, I like that more. I like that more. Cool. I don't want Sammy becoming a tag champ. Yeah. Tag belts don't mean I, tag belts mean nothing. You could you could go to a live show buy a replica tag belt. That would and mean it costs more, more than the real one. That would cost more and mean more than the actual tag belts. So I just, yeah. uh, I just don't want Sammy going up. Have they me. updated the design? No. It's still the penny. Yeah. They should. I think they should only have the. I don't think there should be two tag champs. I think they should just keep them unified now but they there's been rumors for a long time they're going to update the design but they they haven't they're the roman head still okay so it's not penny it's now like a dime color it's still that shape though isn't it? it's still based when it was the penny thing so yeah, yeah. okay so all eyes turn to smackdown then yeah i'm gonna be busy though so i can't tune in Oh, don't worry about it. Don't worry. We will uh, obviously bring people up to speed next week. We need to uh, shoot off to do the Instagram thing, of course. So yep. uh, we are going to look to wrap things up. Is there any other bits you wanted to uh, chuck into this? I uh, I saw Leo Rush twice this week, and he's he's still killing it. Ah, very cool. He, he does, isn't he with New Japan? Yeah. How did you see him then? Was he doing indie he's, dates? Yeah, he's he's picked up a couple. Um, oh. I guess he's on vacation or something. So okay. he's based out of Washington, D.C. So Boston, Worcester, right around the corner. And he was good. Oh, he's great. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. He's always been it's great. It's crazy how you could spend $10 and be in the same building and see that, that match with him. Okay. Worth the admission $10. alone. Dollar. Yeah. Yeah. You could be right at the ring, touching it. Wow. And yeah, that is pretty cool, actually. And that and that was where. Sorry, was that Beyond? Yeah, that's Wrestling Open, which is a Beyond's weekly show. That's on every same Thursday. same venue. Yeah. Maybe I come to Boston. I'd love to go to that. Gotta go because yeah, like, Yuta's there sometimes. John Silver. Yeah, and I mean, it looks Sloan like Jacobs. Looks like there's about 100 and some odd people there. That's all. You could see LMK. I'd give her a piece of my mind. I could tell you, you that. see Love Doug. Yeah, Love Doug. It doesn't do it for me. You know this. You know this. I'm not on board the Love Doug train. That's why I'm on board the you're not on board the Love Doug train. That's right. That's right. OK, you got to wrap it up. Yeah. Awesome. You have to um, go stream AEW. Can I just say what a good conversation about wrestling this was? Yeah, yeah, we can do like, it. We are capable. Yeah. yeah I'm surprised. you surprised? I'm surprised. No, we did it last week, too. Let's run a, run a roll here. Yeah. Oh, God. Well, tune in next week to see if we can do it three weeks in a row. <laughs> that would be wild, yeah. <laughs> awesome, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Appreciate the support, as always. And we will see you again next week. Bye for now.